Hello and welcome back to part 11. In this part we're doing the mats, so uh, I'm zoomed in here we're using my close-up cam, uh, quite close to the mat, and uh, I've got items uh, selected here and I'm uh, looking at the mats uh, material. So this is the standard material that comes in when the mats is actually created. So uh, we're going to use a derivative of one of the fur uh, shaders for this, the materials, um, just so we haven't got to set up our own from scratch. We're going to have to tweak quite a few of the settings to match our sort of uh, the mats and these mats are going to be even though they're sort of uh, the bathroom is quite contemporary and uh, a lot of chrome and nice polished surfaces we're going to ha harker back to the old days with a bit of a cheesy type uh, woolly uh, mat effect and you'll you'll see what I mean uh, uh, when we get there so I'm going to go into fur and uh, I'm going to go into miscellaneous and I'm going to grab this uh, suede soft tan as like a a base material for us to sort of work from so I'm gonna I'm gonna drag that into mats, and that's just gonna say the same here about we want to order size. So we're gonna hit yes for now, and uh, that'll just scale up these like uh, strands to sort of match uh, the size of the objects we're on. And uh, it's not gonna be correct really for what we need, uh, but it's a good start. So uh, the first thing we're gonna do is I'm gonna just sort out the shader tree here because there's a yet again we've got the material from the original group, so we're gonna delete that, and I'm just gonna select uh, all these other ones. Uh, I'm just going to select uh, these ones here and I'm just going to drag them into mat so I'm just going to then delete uh, the old group uh, if you look here we've actually got a shader within this uh, group and uh, the reason is just because the, uh, the indirect illumination we're going to be using a sort of hard and fast uh, or actually a hard and slow should I say uh, brute force method to calculate that using the Monte Carlo, Monte Carlo uh, engine there as opposed to radiance caching because uh, the actual scene itself if you go up to the actual base shader right at the top which does the actual rendering um, you can see a cetera radiance cache so uh, we're basically overriding using this material itself so what we'll do I'm just going to take that whole material there and drag it above uh, the base shader and that's the same as you did with the glazing uh, if you notice we put our own shader in the glazing and basically to say that you couldn't see it within the scene uh, and the same for these new mats so we've got a we've got a new shader okay so uh, that's all fine and good so if you see here now I think you'll, you'll, you'll be seeing now the, the sort of look we're trying to go for with this mat it's one of them sort of fairy type mats so we need to obviously change these are going to be bright white um, so what we're going to do, we're going to, we're going to start at the top here, this is fine, the gradient, we're not going to touch the gradient at all, the noise, I want to get it white, so basically what I'm going to do, I'm just going to get these colours here, and I'm just going to grab them, and uh, so I almost want the mats to be brilliant white, even though I've said time and time again, nothing in the real world is white, uh, in this case I want it as white as I can get it, and one of the problems we're going to have is it making it look a bit grey and a bit muddy, um, but we're going to have to use we're going to try and fake fake it a bit to get it as wide as possible so anyway we'll get to that when we get to it so I'm, I'm bumping them up and then we'll go over to actual the fur node uh, the first thing we're going to do is these strands which are made of cylinders and this is what I said earlier on one of the, the previous parts as soon as we start rendering this the GL number is going to go up it's going to go up from 682,000 it's going to go into the millions so this is not something and it's going to add a big time to rendering so uh, when we're doing these quick tests every time we do a new material we don't want to sit for rendering all this so what I'm going to do we're going to set these mats up and then we're going to turn them off until we come back to the final render uh, these are too chunky so for a start so I'm going to half that, I'm going to cut that down to 12 and you'll see them come in now and they'll be, they'll be a lot smaller so here they come, the one the problems now with me actually shrinking them and making them a lot smaller is there's not enough of them now to cover the actual base mesh but I'll worry about that in a minute because as soon as I start upping the number we're going to start upping the time for these renders now the taper, I don't want them to taper at all so I'm going to stick that down to zero. The spacing between the strands, I'm going to bring it down to one inch. And the actual length of the strand, I'm only going to have one inch 
one inch long. We're still on cylinders, so that's fine. I'm going to come back to this one in a minute. Uh, the actual uh, material itself, I'm going to up the diffuse to 100 and just stick this on. I'm just going to stick this on white. Uh, that's pretty much all we're going to do for that. I'm going to leave all this. This is a woolly sort of a shag pile carpet sort of thing, so I'm not going to have any speckler. Uh, so I'm going to go back to the suede and I'm going to up this to 2000. That'll just make a lot more of them. Okay, so back over on the material. Uh, to stop it being just a bit grey and a bit wishy washy, I'm going to just put a fake. I'm going to put into. Uh, the, trans, the material trans, and if we go down here and uh, the luminosity, I'm just going to put 0 0.1 in there. So actually, the material is going to be given off a bit of light, but to be honest, 0 0.1 is, is such a small amount. I'm hoping, fingers crossed, it doesn't actually um, illuminate any of the surrounding geometry at all. It's just to give it a bit of a boost in the old white department. Uh, also, if you go back to the fur node here, there's a lot of extra things you can tweak here. So this is a thing for you just to go. I'm not going to go and explain what all these are. In later tutorials, we're going to just look. We'll look at these in more in depth. But there's plenty there to go with there. But we're using one of the the, the suede sort of uh, uh, materials as a sort of a guide, a base. And that's that's normally the way I work with things which have got a complicated amount of uh, variables to change. You can normally get one which is a sort of the right, like if you was going for a nid, you could use this one here. And then you can, it's better to tweak than sort of start from scratch. So now you can see uh, my mat there. So now what I'm going to do now, I'm going to just pause the video and do a render. And then when I come back, I'll show you how the mats look in situ. So hang on a second. Okay, so we're back. So as you can see, the mats are done. And they look quite good, I think. They're still. See, I suppose in reality they would be a bit creamy. Just because everything around them is a sort of a creamy tone, they wouldn't be sort of true bright white. But I wanted them to look quite bright, so that putting that bit of luminosity on there is uh, just bumped it up slightly so they are more white than they pop should be. Uh, but I think it looks quite good here. Yeah. You can see the strands. So I'm, I'm happy with those. Uh, so when we come back in the next part, uh, we'll finish off the rest of the sort of standard uh, assets for the room. That will be the towels. Uh, that'll be a similar type of thing to the mats uh, and then the last thing we've got to do are the plants so then we'll do the plants and we've got a glass texture there um, and then we'll see how it looks so uh, bye for now and I'll see you in the next part